Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Prisco 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Prisco, and today we're going to be covering Lamentations 1 through 2 and Hebrews 10, 1 through 18. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Lamentations 1 How deserted lies the city, once so full of people! How like a widow is she, who once was great among the nations! She, who was queen among the provinces, has now become a slave. Bitterly she weeps at night, tears are on her cheeks, among all her lovers, there is no one to comfort her. All her friends have betrayed her. They have become her enemies. After affliction and harsh labor, Judea has gone into exile. She dwells among the nations. She finds no resting place. All who pursue her have overtaken her in the midst of her distress. The road to Zion mourns, for no one comes to hear her appointed festivals. All the gateways are desolate. Her priests groan, her young women grieve, and she is in bitter anguish. Her foes have become her masters. Her enemies are at ease. The Lord has brought her grief because of her many sins. Her children have gone into exile captive before their foe. All the splendor has departed from daughter Zion. Her princes are like deer that find no pasture. In weakness they have fled before the pers pursuer. In the days of her affliction and wandering, Jerusalem remembers all the treasures that were hers in days of old. When her people fell into enemy hands, there was no one to help her. Her enemies looked at her, and they laughed at her destruction. Jerusalem has sinned greatly, and so has become unclean. All who honored her despise her, for they have all seen her naked. She herself groans and turns away. Her, filthy has, her filthiness has clung to her skirts. She did not consider her future. Her fall was outstanding. There was none to comfort her. Lord, look, Lord, on my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. The enemy laid hands on all her treasures. She saw pagan nations enter her sanctuary, those you had forbidden to enter your assembly. All the her people groan as they search for bread. They barter their treasures for food to keep themselves alive. Look, Lord, and consider, for I am despised. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by, look around and see is any suffering like my suffering that was infl inflicted on me that the Lord brought on me in the day of his fierce anger? From on high he sent fire, sent it down into my bones. He spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He made me desolate, faint, and faint all day long. My skin, uh, my sins have been bound into a yoke. By his hands they were woven together. They have been hung on my neck, and the Lord has sapped my strength. He has given me into the hands of those I cannot withstand. The Lord has rejected all the warriors in my midst. He has summoned an army against me to crush my young men in his winepress 
the Lord has trampled virgin daughters uh, uh, Judea this is why I weep and my eyes flow over with tears no one is near to comfort me no one is there to restore my spirit my children are destitute because the enemy has prevailed Zion stretches out her hands but there is no one to comfort her the Lord has decreed for Jacob that his neighbors become his foes Jerusalem has become an unclean thing among them the Lord is righteous yet I rebelled against his commands listen all you people look on my suffering my young men and young women have gone into exile I called to my allies but they betrayed me my priests and my elders perished in the city while they searched for food to keep themselves alive see Lord how distressed I am I am in torment with and within and in my heart I am disturbed for I have been most rebellious outside the sword mm, bereave, bereavers inside there is only death people have heard my groaning but there is no one to comfort me all my enemies have heard of my distress they rejoice at what you have done may you bring the day you have announced so that they may become like me let all their wickedness come before you deal with them as you have dealt with me because of all my sins my groans are many and my heart is faint Lamentations 2 How the Lord has covered daughter Zion with uh, has covered daughter Zion with the cloud of his anger he has hurled down the splendor of Israel from heaven to earth he has not remembered his footstool in the days of his anger without pity the Lord has swallowed up all the dwellings of Jacob in his wrath he has, sat, has torn down the strongholds of daughter Judea he has brought her kingdom and its princes down to the ground in dishonor in fierce anger he has cut off every horn of Israel he has he has withdrawn his right hand at the approach of the enemy he has burned in Jacob like a flaming fire that consumes everything around it like the an enemy he has strung his bow his right hand is ready like a foe in his slain he has slain all who were pleasing to his eye he has poured out his wrath like fire on the tent of daughter Zion the Lord is like an enemy he has swallowed up Israel he has swallowed up all her places and destroyed her strongholds he has multiplied mourning and mourning and limitations for daughter Judea he has laid waste his dwellings like a garden he has destroyed his place of meeting the Lord has made Zion forget her appointed festivals and her Sabbaths in his fierce anger he has spurned both king and priest the Lord has rejected his altar and abandoned his sanctuary he has given the walls of her palaces into the hands of the enemy they have raised a shout in the house of the Lord as one on the day of an appointed festival the Lord determined to tear down the wall around daughter Zion he stretched out a measuring line and did not withhold his hand from destroying he made ramparts and walls laminate together 
they wasted away. Her gates have sunk into the ground. The bars he has broken and destroyed. Her king and her princes are exiled among the nations. The law is no more, and her prophets no longer find visions for the Lord. The elders of daughter Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have sprinkled dust on their heads, and they put sackcloth on. The young women are of Jerusalem have bowed their faces and hand, heads to the ground. My eyes fail from weeping. I am in torment within. My heart is poured out on the ground because of my people are destroyed, because children and infants faint in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is bread and wine? As they faint like the wounded. In the streets of the city, as their lives ebb away in their mother's arms. What can I say for you? What, With what can I compare you, daughter Jerusalem? To what can I liken you, that I may comfort you, virgin daughter Zion? Your wound is deep in the sea. Who can hear you? Who can heal you? The visions of your prophets... were false and worthless, and they did not expose your sin. You, uh, to ward off your captivity, the prophecies they gave you were false and misleading. All who pass your way clap their hands at you. They scoff and they shake their heads at daughter Jerusalem. In this day, the city that was is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All your enemies open their mouths wide against you. They scoff and they gnash their teeth and say, We have swallowed her up. This is the day we have waited for. We have lived to see it. The Lord has done what he, he planned. He has fulfilled his word, which he decreed long ago. He has overthrown you without pity. He has let your the enemy gloat over you. He has exalted the horn of your foes. The hearts of the people cry out to the Lord. You walls of daughter Zion, let your tears flow like a river day and night. Give yourself no relief, your eyes no rest. Arise, cry out in the night, as the watchers of the night begin. Pour out your heart, and like water, in the presence of the Lord, lift up your hands to him. For the lives of your children, who faint from hunger at every street corner. Look, Lord, and consider... Whom have you ever treated like this? Should women eat their offspring, the children they have cared for? Should priests and prophets be killed in the sanctuary of the Lord? Young and old lie together in the dust of the streets. My young men and young women have fallen by the sword. You have slain them in the day of your anger. You have slaughtered them without pity. As you summon to a feast day, so you summoned against me terrors on every side. In the day of the Lord's anger, no one escaped or survived. Those I cared for and reared and my enemy has destroyed. That was Lamentations 1 through 2, and now we will be turning to Hebrews 1, I mean, sorry, 10. Hebrews 10, uh, 1. Christ's sacrifice once and for all, Hebrews 10. The law 
is only a shadow of the good things that are coming, not in the realities themselves. For this reason, it can never be the same sacrifices repeated endlessly year after year. Make perfect those who draw near to worship, who otherwise would they not have stopped being offered? For the worshippers would have been cleansed once for all, and would no longer have felt guilty for their sins. But those sacrifices are an annual reminder of sins. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for, for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings you were not pleased. Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. First, he said, sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire, nor were you pleased with them, though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, here I am, I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second, and by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again he offers the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all times one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since that time he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice he made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this first, first, uh, he says, this is the covenant I will make with them. After that time, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts. I will write them on their minds. Then, he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And when these have been forgotten, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. And that was Hebrews 10. 1 through 18, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will cover Lamentations 3 through 5 and Hebrews 10, 19 through 39. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. Um, sorry, I'm thinking... Uh, I listened back to it today on the at church, and sounds like my speakers or my microphone's not very loud. Uh, sorry, you have to turn it up so far. I'm not sure what's going on, but I appreciate you tuning in each and every day. And God loves you, and it's a work of God. So anyway, He'll straighten it out, won't He? Thank you, Father, for giving us a sound system that helps each and every one of the individuals out there that are listening to the program so that they may be able to hear it with ease. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said amen. All right. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the show tonight. And as always, you know, God loves you. So do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, we'll be here, God willing, and we hope that you are too. And as always, please like and share.